guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as y'all know, we are getting ready for the fall reset in my booth. I've been thinking about it for a while and I'm, I'm really starting to put it together in my head. And every time I do find something in my inventory stash, I am just slowly building together this really beautiful cohesive collection that I'm getting really excited about. So as y'all know, in that last video, we found the most beautiful mud cloth. And I had mentioned that I probably wanted to make pillows out of the mud cloth. And I had two other colors of mud cloth. And so we are making pillows today with zippers. I haven't sewn a zipper in a long time. The last time I felt confident sewing a zipper was college. I have a lot of pillow inserts and if we have any left over, we're gonna be using this uh, wool quilt top that I found at auction. I think last year at some time I had it dry clean. It's just such a cool mix of different fabrics. And when you flip it over, you can actually see where there were patches done on the back with this like floral fabric as well. And I actually already used it to make a test pillow with one of the zippers because I just wanted to make sure that I could do it before I made this video. How I'm starting this project is I actually have cut two pattern pieces one for the full back and the front of the pillow and one piece that is a four by 16, which is what we'll need to use as our zipper flap to cover the zipper just to give it a cleaner look. I think I'm gonna start cutting up the black first just because I already used it for a footstool recovering and I just wanna make sure that I do this right before I get into the other two colors because I like the other two colors better. I love this one too. The white just has this really awesome thick texture to it. And then I just love that the brown one so much. And so, all right, let's get to cutting. Oh my gosh, she's back on the grill. The pillow inserts that we're using are 16 by 16. And if you were getting a pillow cover for them, you would want to size down by an inch. So you would want to go 15 by 15. But since we're making them ourselves, we need to size up 16 by 16 so that we can have that half inch border all the way around so that it is 15 by 15. Once we put it together and it's all sewn and complete, these pillows together and the first step to that is the back of the pillows we're going to be taking the back apart essentially and adding a zipper just to give it a cleaner look up the value a little bit now I'm not even going to try to explain how to do this because I'll confuse myself but more importantly I'll confuse you so I am just gonna leave a link down below for the video that I looked at to accomplish this project uh, she does a great job of explaining how to add the zipper. And what I've done is I've taken my 16 by 16 square and I've marked the middle and we're gonna cut that in half and then we're going to basically make a zipper sandwich out of this little four by 16 piece and this zipper and the two pieces that make up this back. Now, 
with the zippers she pointed out that you want one that's longer or bigger than your pillow because we're basically going to be trimming off the edges because we're going to sew them and for most of the project you're going to want the zipper to be halfway unzipped just so you have access to it i learned that on the last pillow that i did as a test you don't want it all the way zipped up or close to it because you're not going to be able to unzip it very easily. I also went ahead and uh, ironed, uh, well I'm destroying my work, but I ironed these pieces just so they look nicer. They're easier to iron now than later. Let me go ahead and cut this piece in half. So now we have two 8x16s. Now what we're going to do is make a zipper sandwich with one of these sides. And with the drop cloth, I guess it doesn't really matter which side you start off with. We're going to go flap down, one side down, flap folded, and rough sides together, zipper face down, all raw edges together. Do I have a zipper foot? Yes, I used it the other day. Yes, I have a zipper foot. Now I just happen to have some really nice cream thread in my thread stash, and so that worked out well. Didn't have to go buy anything special just for this project. Speaking of not having to buy anything special for this project, I, I did order these uh, zippers off of Amazon, a pack of 60, I think, for under $20. I also ordered these clips. I use pins, right? And I don't love pins. And then I realized that clips existed for sewing as well. And I've used clips to keep like rug pillows together as I sew because pins just aren't getting through all those layers. And I use like big bag clips, you know? And for the smaller project, I found these little clips online on Amazon as well. This whole thing, I think around the same, like a hundred clips. And I can link all that down below in my Amazon Associates account if you're interested checking that out. And it came with a measuring tape too. Oh yeah. I'm gonna iron this. Nice and pressed. Figure this out. Make it a regular thing. I feel like the next investment would be a serger. Also, I was looking back on footage of me like working on that table project. I just have RBF guys. I don't know what to tell you. Like my face looks so serious when I'm working on something. So I'm trying to remind myself to smile more. It's just not natural for me. I don't know. It takes too many too many face muscles for this face to smile. Okay, what am I doing? Focus. Oh, these clips are awesome. Oh my gosh, I love them. Ooh, guys. Ooh, man. I'm pretty happy about that. Can you see that? <laughs> the light's shining through it. Nice. Only 25 more to go. <laughs> So I relocated down to the basement because I have more room to work down here. My memory card filled up and I had to wait for hard drive to come in the mail so I could transfer footage around and uh, during that time I got all the back sewed for the pillows. It took a while, there's a lot of them. And now we're going to sew the fronts to the backs and then we'll finally have a pillowcase. And so we're going to start on this stack and basically we're just going to work our way around the whole pillow. I mean, it's not too complicated, but somehow I have managed to complicate it already today. I, I did another test pillow just to make sure I was doing it right and I royally messed it up. So, all right, I've worked out the kinks and now I'm ready to finish these darn pillows. They're gonna look so good when they're done though. I gotta say, I'm, I'm very excited about how these are, are gonna come out and if I have them pictured correctly. So let's go ahead and do one and I'll show you what it looks like. Also, these clips, these little guys have been fantastic. Highly, highly recommend. Look at this. What do you think? Sellable? Looks pretty professional to me. One down and a lot more to go.
just a gone away I keep thinking about that big sky I've seen so many times before done with sewing and we finally get to stuff these pillowcases. So I have a whole box of 16 by 16 uh, pillow inserts. They are 95% feather and 5% down and what I normally do when I get these to fluff them I just kind of loosen up the feathers, get some air in there and it's good to go. Yeah so basically I just need to stuff 26 pillows. You guys have watched me do some weird stuff so but somehow I don't think Pillow stuffing is the weirdest. Probably the dead bug rearranging. That one was questionable. Yeah, pillows is not the weirdest. This was the mud cloth that I had before. All right, let's try the brown one that I got last week. The brown mud cloth. It's got like more design on it than the other one. Isn't that cute? Oh my God. All right, well, sorry, <laughs> inspecting it pretty hard. Uh, just gotta do them all. Woo! Excuse me. <laughs> all right. Well, now that all the pillows are done, I get to price them. And I actually already did my price tags. All I need to do is price gun them onto the pillows themselves. I'm really happy with them. I really like how they turned out. Uh, they just look so clean and professional. It won't be officially professional sewing until I can get like a serger to do all of uh, the, the raw edges of the seams. Then we're professional. But for now, this is probably about as good as it's ever going to get um, until that happens. Every time I make pillows, they just get a little better every time. And I'm really happy with this batch. For the mud cloth pillows, I priced them at $36 a piece. And for the wool patchwork quilted pillows I did them at 32 piece so I have 10 of those and then total on the mud cloth pillows I have 17 so 27 pillows total and um, on the business side of things man if I just did a batch of 26 pillows a month looking at just a solid little chunk of income to be honest I mean can I torture myself into doing 26 pills a month. It doesn't seem like that much, but when you do them all in one sitting, it's a lot. Uh, I would not recommend trying to sew 26 pillows all at once. Do two at a time or something. I don't know. I really like how they came out. And some of these pieces of cloth that I find that are just so beautiful. I have, I really have a stash of fabric and cloth and old rug remnants that I love using for this kind of stuff. I've found a ton of interesting sweaters and pieces of clothing as well that aren't really usable in a traditional clothing sense anymore, but would probably make a pretty good pillow. Maybe I'm gonna just start doing that more often because I really love what pillows do to a space and how they make it nice and cozy, especially with the fall and the winter coming up. I think they'll just be the perfect addition. I'm not able to ship these right now, guys. I'm so sorry, but they are going to go into the booth 
Um, I'm not able to hold any. It's gonna be a first come first, ooh, the dogs. I'm not able to hold any. It's gonna be a first come first serve basis. I was thinking about the other day because I just, I would, I really wanna get into shipping, but I am just not able to, to do it right now. It's gonna happen eventually, but something needs to go. If I'm gonna add shipping, and add doing things online, something else would need to go. And currently that's just not possible. So we'll get there one day, but right now it, it just, it's not gonna work. So that is pillows. Let's just get these price tags on. 